guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my makeup room. In this video, I'm gonna do full face of my makeup using only Indian makeup products. Now, I have also done a video in the past on the skincare things, like you know, uh, all the skincare products that are made in India. And the reason I'm making such kind of videos, I've explained that in the past video. So yeah, make sure to check that video out. Now, the product that I'm gonna use in this video, first of all, are affordable. Second, uh, you know, I try to keep them affordable. Almost 90% of the products are under 300 rupees, if I'm not wrong. And, um, they are my, they are all Indian company and also all the products that I'm going to show to you. I've used them for over one month now. So, you know, I have my thoughts, my opinion over each of the products. So I'm going to tell you if that product worked for me or not. A short kind of review and all that thing. So, yes, if you are interested in then please kindly keep on watching. But before diving in, if you are new here, then hello guys. My name is Ankita. I make videos over beauty and style. So in case if you are interested in those kind of things then please kindly take a second to subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to hit that bell button just beside the subscribe button to get notified every time i upload a new video now with that being said let's get started I will mention the price of each product on the screen so make sure to check that out. Now starting off with primer. Now the primer that I actually bought to show to you is uh, this one. It's the Stakewalky First Base Primer Oil. It's 10 ml in quantity but 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 it's basically a primer oil and I have combined skin and it's summer and it's really like you know it just melts my makeup rather than sticking to it it has a little bit of stick to it so it's very 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 good for winter time or if you have dry skin then it might help you but if you have oily skin combined skin or even normal skin you don't really need this and you know if you are using a very 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 matte foundation like you know matte that are extremely matte you can actually use this to make it a little bit less matte little bit dewy it's gonna do that and it's also i'm not sure about you know making the foundation last longer on you or something like that so i can't tell you anything but if you have dry skin you can surely check this out now the primer that I'm going to use for today is this one, it's the Blue Heaven Primer and I've talked about this primer in so many of my videos and you guys have also seen me using this particular primer in lots of my videos and it's a very good one. It costs 300 rupees but you will always get some fair amount of discount like 250. It really does a great job at priming and you know at feeling pores and you know helps the foundation gliding smoothly over your face. I actually love this one next one for foundation i'm actually going to use this inside ultra thin second skin long wear foundation wow i found this on amazon and it was 16 rupees by the way i'm in the shade 04 warm nude i hope you can see that it contained 20 ml it comes with a dropper like this but the dropper is not super you know workable and it has a very 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 strong smell like you know those synthetic hair oil smell like baja jamun drops or some sort of it's got that smell so the smell is kind of a little bit weird but kind of a little bit you know pleasant you know what i want to mean so if you have a little bit of mm -mm in putting hair oil kind of fragrance over your skin then then this is not and i will not actually recommend you to use this but you can use this if you have a really 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 very tight budget okay let's talk about the foundation it's a very 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 thin in consistency don't expect any sort of coverage from this baby and it's a slightly cool tone for my skin my skin is a bit more warm and it's a bit more you know pink undertone uh but yeah it's a very nice regular kind of foundation it's not gonna cover much as i've told you and um, it has a very dewy finish i actually somehow like this it's not super long lasting it's gonna last two for like you know four to five hours and that's it and honestly you can't just expect a lot from a foundation that costs just 160 rupees and 
now as you guys can see i am done with my foundation but still all my flaws and dark circles and pigmentation are just picking through so i'm gonna use a little bit of orange corrector and for that i'm gonna use this purple convert operation guardian concealer palette it's in the shade 04 and i'm gonna use uh, this orange shade from this one i'm just gonna pick a very 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 little amount within my hands I'm very lightly just gonna use it around my mouth area. Very, very, very little amount. Don't put too much. Then you will probably need too much foundation to hide it. Now for concealer, it's no wonder to you guys anymore, I guess. It's the Swiss Beauty Liquid Concealer and it's in the shade 03. And I'm gonna use it on my usual points where I usually conceal. Like my under eyes, forehead, bridge of the nose and a little bit too much around my mouth because I put orange corrector. Now it's time to blend, blend, blend and I'm also using this beauty blender. It's by 20 something cosmetics which is a brand of cuffs and lashes so it's definitely an Indian product and it's very 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 affordable and good quality too. Now I'm already done with my concealer and you guys can see all my dark circles just gone like magic. Now it's time to set it. But before set it I just want to put a little bit of cream contour. Just want to show you one product that is kind of hit kind of miss for me and it's the Stay Quirky Hide My Hickey Concealer. I think it's in the shade 14. And now it's a concealer but I choose the darkest shade to you know use it as a contour but the main big deal with this one is you know you can't just put all the you know bullet back in the bullet that's the only thing and it's a perfect shade for contouring and it's a very quick setting one so you know you don't really have to set it after you use it very good actually now it's time to finally set my whole face with loose powder and for that I'm gonna use the Swiss Beauty Loose Powder. It's in the shade 02 Banana and most probably my most, most favorite product I found while you know thinking of making this video. This have to be the one product I can blindly recommend you like if you just want to get a one product from the whole video just get this one. It's it's brilliant product it's actually very 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 good very fine very smooth and it's i think better than maybelline fit me it's very thoughtful packaging and the product itself is a very 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 nice very finely melted it doesn't give you any powder now it's time to set my bronzer and for that i'm gonna use this my glam pose HD bronzer duo now it's the only product i think that is not affordable and it cost almost like you know 600 rupees i can't remember the price but it's damn good though it has two powders like one for bronzing one for contouring and i'm gonna mix the two to apply it on my you know usual points I'm just going to use an angular brush and it's very pigmented so be very very gentle and very very careful. Now for the blush I'm going to use this Take Walky Cheeky Girls blush. It's in the shade 04 Rose Starlet. I hope you can see that. The font is a very 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 small and I love to apply my blush with this you know stiff from foundation brush. So you know I just tap the blush like this I really take a good amount and then I love to just tap 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 and it just gives a very beautiful blushy chicks kind of effect that I really like now time for the highlighter and for highlighter I'm gonna use this one it's a Swiss Beauty Brick Highlighter in the number 02 I hope you can see that I'm just gonna swirl my brush with over all the colors to get a mixed colors I'm just gonna use it on my usual area and it's actually a very 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 beautiful highlighter almost like you know candlelit highlighter love the effect of this highlighter 
little bit on the nose little bit on the chin little bit everywhere now to set all of this jazz that I have put already i'm gonna use a, this one it's the swiss beauty makeup fixer it's a really good one but it has a very 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 strong smell and that's why i'm not sure about this Now we are really zoomed in and up close so you can really see what I'm gonna do with my eyes because now I'm gonna start with my eye makeup. So first for filling my brows, I'm gonna use this Blue Heaven Artisto Brow Pencil and Styler. It's in the shade grey that I can clearly remember and that's what it looks like. It almost looks like the Wet n Wild Retractable Brow Crayon but the pencil is a little bit thicker than the Wet n Wild one. It's just that the pigmentation is pretty good. It's very, very, very less pigmented one. So it's very good for beginner actually. And it's very easy to fill with, you know, fill your brows with this one. Now for today's eye makeup look, I'm just gonna do a very smoky kind of eye. So for that, I'm gonna use this pencil. It's the purple smoky eye pencil, smoky dopey. And again, you know, purple is an Indian brand. Um, if you don't know so yeah I'm just gonna apply this pencil very roughly along my lash line and after that I'm just gonna use a fluffy blending brush like this just gonna smudge the edges now for the eyeshadow, I'm going to use this Swiss Beauty Ultimate Shadow Palette and it's in the shade 05. I hope you can see that. And from this palette, first I'm going to pick this brown shade with a dense blending brush. It's not even dense blending brush. It's kind of dense flat bl blending brush. Blah, blah, blah. And I'm just going to put this color very closely to my crease. And also I'm just kind of you know, elongate the eye shape that I have. I'm just going to use the lightest crease color. And I'm using this fluffy blending brush for picking up this color. I'm just going to buff the dark brown into the crease. Now for my lead space, I'm actually going to use this silver color. And I'm using a flat brush to pick up this color. And I'm gonna stamp this color on my lead space. And I'm gonna build this color unless I'm happy with the pigmentation. Next I'm gonna pick up this dark almost chocolatey brown sort of color. And gonna place it on the outer corner in a V shape. Blending the color a little bit into my crease. Also dragging that same chocolate brown shade a little bit into my lower lash line. To buff out my lower lash line, I'm just going to take a flat blending brush like this and I'm going to pick up the lightest color from the palette again. I'm just going to slightly buff the color. Now for my inner corner, I'm actually going to pick up this shade. It's a bit of, you know, pink tone or a little bit of cool toned shade. I'm using a sponge tip applicator and by the way, this palette, oh my god, it's crazily pigmented and it's a very, very, very good palette actually. And boom, that's it. That's what I want for my eye makeup today and that's the same thing. I'm going to repeat on the other eyes and I'll be right back. Now, with an angular brush, I'm just going to pick up this black shade and I'm just going to frame my eyes using this black kind of like this now time for mascara and for mascara i'm gonna use this avela voste uh high definition mascara and it's an average mascara it gives a bit of length bit of volume good mascara for the price you can go for this for sure now it's time for the lipstick and as usual i'm a little bit confused and by the way this is how my mascara looks after using two coats it's a really good one you can definitely go with this one 
but I'm confused between these two lipstick. Both are from Stake Walk. It's their Kiss and Tell Mini Liquid Lipstick. Uh, this one is his Not Mine, number 10, and this one is 01T's. I'm pretty confused, so I'm just gonna apply this one first and let's see how it looks with this look. Finger cross. I think this looks pretty good as well. Um, yeah, this looks pretty cool. So yes, that's it. That's for this video. Now I'm gonna just apply some falsies and I'll be right back with my final finish. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't wanna waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us. And 